Yes, that's right. We just skipped like four episodes because I guarantee you, if I made reactions off of those previous four episodes or so of people just sitting around the fucking table talking about politics, world building, which I think is fascinating, my YouTube channel is gonna go fucking down because ain't nobody give a fuck. This is the episode we're gonna catch up on. Sorry, we've already caught up until this episode. We did a quick glim glimpse over the most important bits and we're off to war. I think we're about to meet the Demon Wars today. Let's begin today's reaction. Okay, teleporting them to enemy territory. Yeah, it's JP, it's JP. Hopefully, if it's not, it'll be funny. Let's see, is it English or... That's the fucking competition of like, who can glaze remove the most right here, bro. I think that Ranga deserves it most. I think that Shion and Diablo, they're, they're too much of pick me's, bro. Shion and Diablo are trying too fucking hard to glaze Rimuru up. But you know who's been there since day fucking one? Ranga. Waga <laughs> Aruji. See? 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 Ranga just sitting patiently on the side. He doesn't need to be, you know, doted on constantly. <laughs> Alright. Keeping Veldora as a secret. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like uh, Veldra doesn't count. Veldra is not a glazer. Veldra and Rimuru are equals. They're sworn friends. And I don't think Gopta really counts either. I'm comparing the most biggest glazers for Rimuru, who is Shion and Diablo right now. And Ranga, I think, does a very good job of just, you know, whenever he's called, he shows up. And that's it. That's it. And then Diablo's gonna go there and carry for Yom, right? Yep. <laughs> he already said that. <laughs> you, you did, didn't he just say that? <laughs> now, let's get prepared. Water Purgis! Opening coming! Refugees to Jura Tempest. Yeah, he got a new wine glass out after the one he broke, by the way. Leaked! Leaked! Kind of, yeah. Makes sense. Because Raphael fasted it up, you know. The seal stuff. Missing majority of his energy. Veldra is not full form, right? Veldra is not full form. Is he... He, he... Is he really not? Not everyone felt his resurrection. We made up a fake story to tell them, right? Okay, okay. But like, is Veldra actually weakened or is he just like intentionally hiding it, right? This is one of the things that was discussed around the politics. But like right now, he's just simply suppressing the power, right? But like he is, he could be at a hundred, right? He he could go a hundred right now if he wanted to, right? Am I correct about that? Okay, he can go a hundred. All right, all right. This this debate now it's like oh that slime can't do shit and Delveldra if he's fucking nerfed let's get him right now. Shut the Yamza? Bro, it's Yamcha. Actually, that's disrespecting Yamcha. <laughs> I can't believe I actually fell for his bluff, but the truth cannot be hidden as he fucking fell for the bluff. Yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You should listen to Laplace, bro. Your friend's looking out for you. Getting cocky. Nah, dude. He ain't gonna win, dude. Be delusional all you want. It's gonna be good when he loses. Ooh, Frey. Oh. What do they do? They just comb and brush her, her wings? Silence, because she's fucking, you know, manipulated. Okay, so this is how Mil Milam gets uh, manipulated. <laughs> Look, look, look. Mm, yes, yes. Look, look at, look at, look at. This is what girls will do. Have you seen girls like Instagrams where like they got their nails done, right? But like they won't say that they got their nails done. 
they'll like have like a bubble tea or some kind of like drink or food, but they'll have the fucking nails in frame, right? And then their captions in the title will be everything but the nails. And the nails will be like there. They'll be like, oops, did you, did you, oh, 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 dragon knuckles, dragon knuckles. Yes, look, 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 look. Aww. Yes, I have heard that, um, these dragon knuckles are meant to nerf her, right? So, did we make them, right? Our dwarves made them, right? And then they're meant to specifically, like, nerf her so she doesn't, you know, fuck shit up everywhere. Mabudachi. Mabudachi. Frey and Milan's relationship is very cute. She has so many outfits. What the fuck? She has so many outfits. Won't she get jealous of Veldra then? Because Veldra is BFF, right? Mabudachi is simply best friend. But BFF is like best friends forever. Frey, how could you do this? This is for the grand plan. But like, Frey, how could you do this? Just, just put the necklace on. Dude, she's so proud. No, Frey! How could you betray Milim? This is fucked up, man. This is fucked up, man. <gasps> Not the knuckles. <laughs> right, this is all to pretty much deceive Clayman, though, right? Demon marionette. The only way to control Milim. Even Frey's look here to Clayman is pretty suspicious, huh? This is pretty much already hinting that, you know, even though it looks like for first-time watchers that Frey, you know, tricked Milim. She did, but, you know, Frey's like, <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. Frey's design is crazy. No, no! I just remember what he's gonna do! No! Don't do it, you piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Bro! <gasps> no, the reason why she agreed to take part of your plan because she fucking hates you and it's just to take you out, you piece of shit! Uh oh. She does agree. <laughs> Get your feet off of her! <laughs> he deserves everything that's coming pretty soon. <laughs> Self defense circuit. Stampede. Oh, so it's like if you kept damaging her, like Stampede would activate. Maybe she'll go like berserk battle mode and like just kill him. Oh. Well, Purgis, to control her, more votes, right? Top tier. You are already my pawn. Little does he know, bro. Little does he know. That laugh is crazy from Clayman every time. <laughs> Frey probably wants to kill Clayman right now, but we can't. We gotta wait. We gotta wait and bide our time. <laughs> Stampede! Fuck him up! Yo, Frey talking so much shit behind the scenes. Alright, well, per no, no, the uh, Demon Lord meeting. Let's go. This is important. What dragon is that? Don't spoil me. Don't spoil me, actually. This is probably important. Well, there's a frozen dragon here, though. It's a fucking frozen dragon. Leon Cromwell. Guy Crimson. Yo, those things are huge. Maids, I know they're important. Don't spoil me, don't spoil me! Are they demons? I don't know. Demon people? Arc demons, greater demons, right? Right? I'm just gonna assume the longer the horn they are, the closer they are to arc demon. 
And the shorter the horn they are, probably lesser. Gi Crimson. And these two maids serves Gi? Platinum Sable. Oh, these are some really important characters here, man. What is that? Are these teeth of his fucking fallen enemies? Like, what the fuck is this decoration, bro? Are these dragon teeth? He's got a headband on it. Oh, oh. Hey, hey! <laughs> bro, immediately trying to kiss it. He went in, he went in like... <laughs> Femboy on femboy action, bro. This is some lesbian shit. This isn't even the quote unquote gay male on male. This is the female. This fucking femboy on femboy. Gay crimson. Gay crimson. You right. Isn't gay crimson like um both a woman and a girl? I mean a woman and a man? He's kind of like Root from um, Root from uh, Skimichi Moon Fantasy. In fact, I wonder if the author... Sorry, Skimichi Fantasy is the OG. So I wonder if the author of um, Slime based um, Guy Crimson off of Root because they're pretty much just like, you know, genderless ultimate beings. I don't fucking know. Damn, all the demons saw that, huh? All the demons saw the kiss being rejected. Is it not cold as fuck in here? What is this, Gi? Well, then again, it doesn't look like the snow is like really landing here, huh? Is there like a like an invisible wall? I don't know, but like this meeting place, it looks like it's just all fucked up here, huh? Barrier around it. And like this headband, is it just decoration or is he hiding a fucking third eye? Like that's gotta be important, right? Don't spoil me, but like that that headband here. There has to be some meaning towards it, other than just design. <laughs> yes, shit on Clayman. Gi Crimson Ramirus was there when Millim ascended to True Demon Lord in that for in that episode. Remember. Death, quote unquote death. We're hiding it, right? I know she's like one of the strongest, but it's pretty cool to see this much recognition. <laughs> Smart people like me can't understand stupid people. Troops? My only weakness is that I can't understand stupid people because I'm smart. <laughs> I love conspiracies, bro. Go for a smooch. Another kiss? Uh, another smooch? Yo, he's just trying to get Leon drunk right now. I just realized. Isn't he just trying to get him fucking tipsy so that he can go in for the smooch without getting a rejection? I was going to offer to let you hold me throughout the night. Bro is so down bad for Cromwell Cock. Oh, he wants the Platinum Saber! He actually wants the Platinum fucking Saber! Oh, Rimuru, Rimuru, Rimuru. Okay, Leon saying he's pretty open to Rimuru. Anyone Ramirez takes an interest in has the potential to be entertaining. Again, another reason why a lot of people watching this show for the first time probably see Ramirez in the great Ra in, the, in the labyrinth arc, right, with the students, and think that she's not really that big a deal. Cause it's a small little pixie. I think it's disclosed that she is a demon lord or some shit too. But people still probably think that she's not that big of a deal because she's a tiny, right? And like, uh, and, and and like. That's the beautiful thing about this show. A lot of the people that we just don't think are that important or just kind of gloss over in the grand scheme of things outside of the immediate main characters, they're like fucking super important, right? She's like the queen of spirits. She's like the fucking demon lord. She was back with Guy Crimson when Milim was, you know, doing the uh, ascension to true demon lord. You know, the story that Aaron told us. 
Even Leon acknowledges. Even Leon acknowledges the fairy. Really? You would turn on Leon? I'm not about picking a fight with you knowing I can't win. Damn. Damn. So, like, it's pretty much, you know, Leon, even though he doesn't, you know, he's not going to give him the Platinum Saber. Like, Gee Crimson is that guy, huh? Gee is Gee, huh? Gee is what? I was going to say guy. Guy is that guy, but it's like Gee is Gee. You know what I'm saying? Once out of a million. Once out of a million. But that's the beautiful thing is that maybe you do get the one in a million try and that's all that matters. You know what I mean? Hmm. Even one in a million is so impressive to Gee Crimson. Wonder what the odds are for some other demon lords like Milim or even like Rimuru later on. Just Gee and Milim are extraordinary according to Leon. Veldra also acknowledged. Oh, oh, oh. Who are you? Oh, hello. One of only four true dragons in existence. So, Storm Dragon is true dragon? Is Storm Dragon one of the four true dragons in the world? Veldra? And this, okay, what about the, the Chaos Dragon? Remember the Chaos Dragon that Rimuru quote-unquote sealed? Like, Rimuru's like, um, long-time like, pet, basically? Is the Chaos Dragon also one of the four? If no? Chaos Dragon isn't? Oh, okay, uh, that's not really that important then. The White Ice Dragon, Velzar. Did, did she just sit on Gee Crimson's lap? Gee got it like that? Gee got it like that? I consider seeing you a feast for my eyes. What 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 are you what are you doing? Wait, what what does that mean? I consider seeing you a feast for my eyes. Like he wants to like he thinks that like she's like a snack. Is is he actually raising her up right now? Is that what's I don't understand? No no, they hate each other. They hate each other? Velzard. Velzard. Younger blood related? Bl blood 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 related? Oh bro younger brother by name? Or like actually blood rel like there's a fucking parents like a mama dad it don't spoil me well, that is spo I'm basically asking for a spoiler aren't I I am don't spoil me fuck I wanna fuck but it's like yeah yeah no, okay Velzard Veldora right so it's Vel something Vel something is the naming scheme of the true dragons gotcha gotcha there's gotta be a mama and a daddy dragon though huh hmm. <laughs> He's uh, hiding, reading manga, Raphael, well, Rimuru. Yeah, and then Rimuru became true demon lord because of it. Right, this has been revealed in the Ramirez episode in the Labyrinth, right? Where it's like, uh, Leon was a disgraced hero then became a demon lord, right? He used to be a human, was like a hero, then he became disgraced, and then he became demon lord or some shit, right? Being bathed in all the blood of the battle. I think this is still the fake story. Kind of? It was always calculating, and then Raphael, and then sped up. Very interesting point here. The hero seal was flawed, being mentioned by Velzar, because we know that the hero who had the original mask that apparently taught Shizu sealed Veldora. The hero seal was flawed. Just a theory. Just a theory. He was pulled into a hyperspace of someone's creation along with the sea. It's, he, he got it on point. Leon is... Yo, re, le, yo what, is, is it? Leon... Leon fucking pre-watched. Pre-watched. <laughs> Leon's fucking reading the light novel, bro. What do you, what do you fucking mean? <laughs> that's, an, that's an insane guess. Like, what? 
<laughs> what if he was pulled into a hyperspace of someone's creation along with the CEO? And then that creation of someone else's hyperspace got, you know, uh, even expedited after the family's, you know, uh, uh, fucking Raphael. It's like, what? <laughs> What the fuck? Don't give me a Sono Torida, bro. You read this shit? Is it all just a coincidence? All roads lead to the slime. Secret. I'm keeping a secret weapon for later. Intentionally. I thought he was just bored, so he's fucking shit up. What, you're not gonna give me that platinum saber, bro? Right, he's trying to summon very specific. Rimuru again. He was gonna take them in. Is this OVA content? Is this someone? Isn't this Rimuru? That's is, is there someone else other than Rimuru that's mad at the summoning? Is this actually OVA content right now? Okay. 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 We know that. We know that. <laughs> Everything connects to the slime. All roads lead to him. Even Gi Crimson's interested. She's, she's, she's special, okay? Informant? Someone from the Empire. The Empire is the church? Is that right? The Empire... Is the emperor, right? Just the, just the merchant? Merchant. Is it? Could you imagine it's the same fucking merchant as like uh you know our merchant? <laughs> Remember, empire's a new nation. Could you, could, and could you imagine if it's the you know the merchant that we have? You know the guy, the the, the rotund bro with the flashy blonde hair. <laughs> could you could you could you imagine if that was the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one with the the dog merchant, you know? <laughs> could you could you fucking imagine if he was also <laughs> working with Leon and be like, holy shit, that'd be fucking insane. If you get yourself killed, I'll make you regret it. <laughs> what? He's gonna be dead though. Who is he trying to summon? Past lover? It's gotta be some kind of past lover, right? It's making Gi jealous. Alright. Damn. Gi Crimson is so reasonable for someone that kind of rules over everybody, huh? Yeah, come see your little bro. Maybe he'll be there. But you're fucking a demon lord. Alright, bye bye. Velzar. So many things that I forgot. Rimuru makes Gi Crimson's heart go doki doki? Very soon, guys. And that's the episode. Man, this meeting with Gi Crimson is so hype. The world building, man. It's just like you're meeting like the pinnacle of like the Demon Lords, man. And like Velzard also. And kind of coincidence that little bro, big sis, Velzard. Veldora, it's like, you know, it's kind of crazy, right? The existence of four true dragons. They all probably start with the letter V-E-L, huh? So keep in mind of that as we witness, you know, future dragons that might pop up, huh? And oh, this scene was so fucking annoying. Clayman, like, destroying Nilin because she got no fucking control over herself. But it's okay. 
It doesn't actually take damage. It's just so frustrating. But, you know, Steel's voice actor just put on a fucking show. So it's like, it is what it is. Now, I believe we're heading towards Water Prius, But before that, we got to pretty much take out the trash. So there's going to be like a back and forth of like the war. And then leading up to the Wild Purgis. And once we're there, mm, things are going to get even better. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.